Oh yeah, there we go. Got some bison right there. Now these guys, they're a little bit harder to kill. And we're going to see if I can take one down. This rifle I have here is a little bit tougher um, to kill bison with because it's not a high power powered rifle for bison. Um, it's only a 30 out 6, but I'm going to see if I can possibly drop one. And, um, cause you get, you get a good bit of money off of it, but moose, you get a lot of money off of, but I'm going to see if I can drop one of these bison. Now it's a good hit. I got a good shot of him. I have a feeling he's not going far. Now, if you want to drop bison on here, you really, I mean, you got to hit, hit the lungs or the heart. Now, now with like smaller animals, you can hit the stomach, the spine, other things like that, and you kill it. But by bigger animals, you got to hit the lungs or, or the heart or you're not going to kill it. But, uh. I ain't going to make y'all watch this, so let's see if we can uh, find this bison. Oh yeah, here we go. See, this is how you know you got a good hit. Vital organ hit right up in the top right corner there. And there's a big blood splatter, that's how you know there's you got a good hit on the bison so or on any animal not just bison so i'm gonna have my dog um start tracking because i like to get my dog leveled up from tracking and not doing other stuff and i have a feeling this bison probably didn't go very far now that's the thing that don't make sense to me. say i got a vital hit and then the bleed rate rate is low if you got a vital organ hit i hit the lungs or heart that sucker is gonna be bleeding like crazy so i don't understand what that's about but it's just something. It's, ain't nothing I could do about it. It's just the way the game is. There's some more bison right there. That's a good hit. I'm just popping shots off of these bison right now. Now I'm feeling that bison. He ain't gonna last long either. But uh, I don't know where my dog went. Oh, there he is. And I think I have the bison right up here. And there. He or she is. I'm not sure yet. Maybe there's a male or female. Yep, there it is. Long shot female. And let's see how much money I'll get for it. Oh, uh, like $500. So, I mean, it gives you a little bit, not too, too much. But let's see if we can track down another one of these bison. Oh, yeah. Got another uh, vital organ hit. And I have a feeling this bison didn't go very far. When you get vital ogre hand, they don't tend to go that far. And let's see. Right there. Boom. There's the bison. Another one down. Got him in the heart, too. Or in the lungs. I'm sorry. Not the heart. And All right. Let's see what else we can find here. Oh, there we got some moose. Got a female moose right there. Now, typically, when you... Obviously, you have a female moose. There's going to be a, a male around or a couple other females. They usually stay together for, for the most part. And let's see. Oh, missed that shot. And that's great. Let's see. If, try again. And let's see. Let's see. No, I can't freaking stay. And then, oh, I think I see a male farther back. Let's see. Yeah, there's a male farther back. I'm going to try to see if I can get closer. Okay, this sucker's broadside. Boom. Alright, let's see. I think that was a pretty good shot. I think I uh, will be able to drop him pretty easy. But I ain't going to make y'all watch this long walk over there. So I'll see you when I get there. See if we got the moose. And the, Oh, we got some wolves, guys. Another thing about Yukon Valley, there's a bunch of wolves up in here. The guy's just running out of nowhere. There's another one. Let's see if I can hit a shot on one of these guys. Uh, nope, missed that shot. But I did hit one a second ago. Before you guys saw before um, they came running through you guys didn't get to see that I did hit one so we're gonna go and track him track him down see if we can find him 
And I'll see y'all when we get there. And there the wolfie is. Got him. What I get him in the stomach. See, you can hit smaller animals in the stomach, it'll kill them. I'm getting him taxidermy because I want a wolf taxidermy in my lodge, which you guys will see at the end of this video. You guys get to see my lodge. And now I ain't going to make y'all watch this. We're going to go see if we can find the moose that I shot at. Now we're tracking a little bit of blood. I think we're coming up on him. Oh, and there he is. Not a very big, big uh, male moose. You, cause I love how realistic this game is with how um, how the growth of the animal is, how old they are. Because if you got a really old animal, then obviously their antlers are going to be bigger. They're going to be, you know, bigger body, bigger mass, and that's what this game specifies in. And now my dog is picking up some more blood, and I think we have a second moose that I shot, and I'll be dang, we do. We got another moose because I shot at two males, but I thought the other one. And then I get a good shot on, but apparently I did because he's dead. So we're gonna go up and claim him. And now I'd get one of them taxidermy, but they they cost a lot more. So and there he is. Now he looks. He you see he I think he looks a little bit bigger than the other one. And I get like close to a grand for moose. So all right, guys, this is the hunting lodge. And we have, I don't remember what they're called, like a red deer, a roe deer, and then we have like a small bird. And I'm about to place this wolf down right here. And then, so those are the only animals I have in here right now. And then you got a lot of other space for mounts and other, to put all the animals around all throughout the lodge head mounts and other uh, full body mounts in grass all the way upstairs into different rooms all the way across going in going all the way throughout the lodge got a bunch of mounts in the bedroom in the big like office dining room area so, I really enjoy this game. You're going to see more videos of it. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And ring that bell. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.